There's a recipe for pizza dough in the description box below. Now, let's get started. First, flour it up a little, all right? And then basically I will kind of get it out into a part here. And then you'll forget to get your pizza cutter. Or you won't. And then I cut it in three bits. All right. And then I have a little scale right here. This one says 375 grams. What are we at? 295, 297. Okay. And then where are we at with you? 315. All right. So we're going to be a little lighter this time. So we'll take a bit off the heavier one, mix it with that one. 326. What are we at here? 313. 335. Just try to get them as equal as possible. 328. 327. All right, good enough. All right. So now when you roll a dough ball, this is going to sound a little bit of an inappropriate thing, but uh, this is how I learned. So you just take it and you basically just kind of bring it in. So you, you, you kind of bring it in together here. You basically make it like a breast <laughs> and then you create your nipple on it. And that's how you roll a dough ball. And it brings it together, smush it in. Number one, done. All right, same thing again, roll it in towards each other. Yeah, this is probably easier for you to see. And then create your nipple. And then that one's done. And then the same thing again. Oh, and then you get a little piece that you forget. Yeah, if you ever add pieces to it, just roll it obviously into the center of it, solving the problem. Again, kind of like a little nipple there. What that does is it actually tightens it up here so that it all stays together properly. And that's it. Always have some flour down, makes it easier. That's how you could do dough balls.